eelgrass is a type of seagrass and seagrasses are flowering land plants that have evolved to live in the sea. So they produce pollen, flowers and seeds just like regular land plants except they're in the water. And what's really cool about them is that they're a species but they also form a habitat. Um, and a habitat that is used by lots of different species including commercial fish, seahorses, storks, jellyfish, all sorts of things. Um, they help prevent coastal erosion. Uh, they're also an important blue carbon store so they actually lock carbon into their root system. Um, their root system is made of rhizomes and it spreads across the surface of the of the sediment and it locks it in place. So they're really important both on their own and for commercial fishing, the health of our oceans and uh, wildlife in general. We started this documentary filming wildlife on island because we really wanted to share some of the wonderful habitats we have here in the Bailiwick. The reason our project is focused on creating a film to enhance conservation in Guernsey is we believe that filmmaking and films in general is one of the most broad, broadly reaching and widely accepted mediums in which to spread information and educate. It's great for sharing on so many different platforms. It can be changed at different lengths so it engages with different age groups. And We have, we have many beds of um, seagrass around the islands but not all of them have been uh, mapped and monitored yet. By making this documentary we hope to educate and inspire others to learn about and support conservation projects across the Bailiwick. We wanted to show people the work that's going on to monitor these beds and look to protect them for future generations. So like many things there are various threats. Uh, so disease is obviously a threat habitat loss, destruction, if we dig up the beds, if we moor in them and this is why we're looking at an eco mooring to see if we can reduce that human impact but a major check, major threat um, is climate change. Our seas are getting warmer. We don't know what the full impact of our warming seas will be. Um, in terms of protecting it for the future, Guernsey currently has no environmental protection. Um, what would be fantastic is to follow both the Isle of Man and Jersey in designating things that are called no-take zones or marine protected areas. And we've got a couple of places in Guernsey that would, be, would make perfect pilot studies where we could compare them to another location where there's no protection at all.